Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm currently at Kachara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. And today I will continue sharing from the book by my Guru, His Eminence, the 25th Sam Tuku Rinpoche. And this is the book that I'll be reading from, Compassion Conquers All. Teachings on the Eight Verses of Mind Transformation, Sam Rinpoche. And I've already done um, two sessions. And I do hope that you revisit those two sessions and um, then you, you know, come into this session if you have not. So today I will um, start from page 38 and this is um, the continuation from um, part 1 which is on motivation. So page 38 and before that I will go to a picture of the Buddha to share with you while I'm reading. And there you are. You see um, the Buddha's uh, painting, they are really colourful and um, there are many forms of Buddhas that, um, that does exist, they are all the same but it's due to our own um, karma, uh, karma and our affinity that um, they take different forms and as you can see some of them have like thousands of hands on thousands of um, implements that they hold and some of them have just like you know normal human forms two hands and two legs you know they are really colorful variety well while you enjoy that I'll share my reading which is on page 38 nothing new in samsara the objects one sees are the projections of one's deluded mind. So everything that we perceive, it is, this is good, this is bad, this is nice, this is not, is the result of our own negative karma. If the object we perceive is inherently existent in itself, is real in itself, then everybody will sees, who sees that object must see it the way we see it. Yet everyone who sees an object will see it differently because the result of their karma is different. Change the object into one you are not attached to. There is nothing new in samsara. Think. You hang around here. There is nothing new. All the food that you want to eat, you have eaten. All the clothes you like to wear, you have worn. You have driven all the cars. You have been everywhere. You have done everything. You have slept, you have eaten, you have taken all types of medications, you have gone to all types of entertainments, you have tried all kinds of things. There is nothing new in samsara. You have done this for lifetimes and lifetimes and when you die, you will be doing it for more and more and more lifetimes. There is nothing new in samsara. There is nothing exciting to hang around for. There is nothing exciting to be attached to. Everything is the same. So shouldn't we practice the Dharma, free of the eight worldly concerns, to become a Buddha to benefit others? Wouldn't that it be a breath of fresh air? If we do things on the basis of the eight worldly concerns, we will not ha have true happiness. In fact, we will have more suffering, whether we practice the Dharma or not. Sufferings come about by wrong actions. Wrong actions come about by wrong motive. So whether you have the wrong motive or do wrong actions, through the Dharma or not, it does not matter. It does not matter. No choice, nothing lasts. You must realize that everything is impermanent by nature. No choice, nothing lasts. What is the definition of impermanence? Any phenomenon, any item, object, thought, place, people, situation, whatever, that is dependent on other causes or phenomena for its existence is impermanent. So therefore, people who are attached to praise and whose happiness arises from receiving praise, their happiness is deluded because praise is dependent on a lot of things. It is dependent on our actions dependent on the stability of our actions and then dependent on actually getting the praise and having the people around to praise you. And when you don't get it, you become unhappy. 
so praise is impermanent it is not lasting so if we depend on happiness from praise we will experience unhappiness again and again and again and again it is not the it is the same if our happiness is dependent on wealth or achieving wealth and only wanting wealth wealth and the process of achieving it takes up a lot of time takes up our youth takes up away our time from our family takes away time from everything and there are lots of sacrifices such as health and mental peace we can even go off the deep end to achieve wealth do negative actions things that break the law and then when we actually achieve the wealth the wealth is unstable we can lose it anytime achieving it requires so many causes and the causes themselves are impermanent therefore if we base our happiness on wealth and achieving it and the process of achieving it we will suffer very badly pervasive ignorance we will suffer constantly while we are trying to achieve it when we achieve it we will suffer as there is no guarantee that we will be able to keep it and the minute we lose it or there is a sign of losing it we run to temples we run to lamas we run to divinations we run to magicians we run to fortune tellers we run to anybody who can save our wealth and in the process we suffer then when we actually lose it we suffer even more for some extremely from beginning to the middle to the end it is total suffering mental physically environmental outer inner and constantly and our ignorance is pervasive and very strong to say or think that if we achieve that we have happiness if we look around at people who are actually wealthy how many of them are deeply at peace or have happiness in their minds and when they have it when they lose it how do they feel and that is the process of life one day you will lose it if not in life definitely at death when you are born you are born naked you cannot take take anything from your previous lives wrong perception when we think about it carefully when we think about it constructively and from the right angle all phenomena are empty of inherent existence empty of inherent existence does not mean empty of existence it means empty of the way we perceive it it exists therefore when we check something when we look at something when we have attachments towards something it in itself does not exist the way we perceive for example wealth does not provide happiness but we have a wrong perception that it does we follow that we run after that and it is not that we don't achieve wealth we become unhappy it is the wrong perception to believe it brings happiness and when it does not bring happiness we suffer it is not the wealth or losing it that makes us suffer it is a wrong perception the ignorant perception of what we think it can do for us so it is the motive and the process that makes us suffer it is our wrong perception or idealization that makes us suffer not the wealth not losing it nor not achieving it and with that i will end my sharing session for now and before i go i would like to share with you some activities that will be taking place at kachara forest retreat and this is one of them which is the ulambana it will take place on saturday 10th of august 2019 and the event starts from 9 a.m to 5 p.m it will take place at kachara forest retreat at 9 a.m there will be the opening speech and dharma sharing at 9 30 a.m the grand ulambana genze puja which will bring good fortune long life and to gain merits at 12 15 p.m there will be the free vegetarian lunch at 2 p.m grand ulambana trakse puja which brings protection and blessings at 5 p.m the event ends and there are several packages that you are able to sponsor that's available for your sponsorship which um, you're able to gain merits to be dedicated to remembrance of your dearly departed or even as um, 
gratefulness for those around you. Um, the package starts from $20 and it goes up to the grand sponsor, which is at $6,888. And uh, as, uh, there's a, our address at the leaflet, which is Kachara Forest Retreat, Jamang, uh, Jalan Chamang, Bentong, Malaysia. And there are two numbers that you can call to inquire further, which is at 609 221 5600 or 603-703-3908 or you can send message by WhatsApp to 6012-987-3908 or send a message to care at kachara.com or you can actually visit our website at vrajasecrets.com where you are able to go online to sponsor the dedication, uh, sponsor the, um, the packages for dedication of the merits, wherever you may be. So that will um, save you a lot of um, time and that um, the pujas will be carried out and the merits will be dedicated according to your wishes. And that event will be on the 10th of August and hope that you'll make, a time, uh, make time to spend um, to visit us and join us for the event and there's another upcoming event which is the spiritual Saturday at Kachara Forest Retreat on the 3rd of August Saturday at 9 a.m. from uh, sorry to 2 30 p.m. and this uh, at 9 a.m. the um, participant will help to write the Ulambana tablets and mantra stones and at 11 a.m., there will be the introductory falcon cross for beginners at 12.30 p.m., that's lunch. So please, if you're interested, do RSVP your, for your place and for your meal by contacting at 6017-965-9484 through WhatsApp message. And you can actually drop an email at retreat at kachara.com. If you are not able to join us for the 3rd of August, there are other activities on the um, following Saturdays which you are able to visit at this bit.ly 2 capital Z 5 L capital D 5 K and you are able to find out the events when hopefully you make the time to join us for the events. So with that, thank you very much for sharing your time with me and I will end this session in Accomplishing Dedication in Tibetan. Young Joseph and Jory Bushy, Magipanam Gishi, Kipanam Pami Payang, Gonny Gondu Pemashu, Tony Tori Bushy, Magipanam Gishi, Kipanam Pami Payang, Gonny Gondu Pemashu, that's the genius of Pagiwadi, Tanandro Gundaga Pada, Jepa Jason Los and Tropai, Tumping for the Sasha, Kewa Kuntu and Dala Madan, Romy to keep on a long chase, Adam Bangi, your terrace, and Dodge Changing of Panga to Sue, Gewadi, you do the Lamasang, you do your name, draw a chicken manupa, day, Salago Pashu, Choki Caposunga Pa, Josuna. Pavela, Geki Samasi, and down to Gimano Samasho. That is Sungi Dusunda, Drew Sungi Latini, Gay Walla Santa Pai, Tampa Yuriba, Gushi, Nimo de la Sendele, Dimigunian de la Chi, Missing Tatu de la Pell, Quintus Sungi Jingilo, Quintus Sungi Modus, Quintus Sungi Trassi, Show, Jesu Nama Kusan of the Chain, Nampa Trini Chocu Kapada, or some Tempe Dromis of Sungi, Drew and Musa Tatuni, Gushi, Gang with Rawi Coation come then, Ben and Dale, Mali Guini, Charan Zing, one dancing gets on Shapeshi de Badu Deng, Gushi, Home, Tomping Odro Malupa. Then the dollar sell the so called and then Palong Chutnam gave us a shit shooting sell. Thank you for sharing your time with me. And as I mentioned before, there will be lots of background noises because this is a living community. And also, currently, we are doing renovations of uh, repair and maintenance works. And as such, um, there's a lot of machine sounds going on. So, thank you again and hope that you share your time with me for my next session.